because pictures are easy to take it from here instead of searching in Google. Okay, so record started. <clears throat> Yes, today is uh, 6th, 03, 2023. So we are uh, discussing about a uh, networking cables. Okay. The cables which we are using for networking. Mainly three type of cables. Co-axial cable. Co-axial cable. Twisted pair cable. In twisted pair, we have a UTP and a STP. Unshielded twisted pair cable, shielded twisted pair cable, which we are actually using in a, a regular network. Fiber optical cable. Fiber optical cables. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the uh, things we are discussing. First one is coaxial cable. See how coaxial cable is look like this one. We are currently not using for any uh, network communication but in earlier days, we used this coaxial cable for a, a um, cable TV network. Still, we are using for a TV purpose, like dish antenna to your TV. There is a coaxial cable. You, you know, the bus stop was... Hi, sir. Hi. Are you Okay. So coaxial cable. So you know bus topology. We use this coaxial cable in bus topology also. Earlier days. So both for a, a cable TV and as well as internet purpose. In certain countries, we they use this coaxial cable. Now we are not using for network communication, but it's a cable is there. And there is a connectivity, so BNC connectors, T connectors, so different type of connectors they are using like this. Okay. If you see the central uh, wire, if center copper wire, so that is a main signal. The center, Copper wire the main signal main original signal passes through this central copper wire and that is in, uh, surrounded by insulator okay for protecting uh, from other uh, wiring okay and uh, on the insulator you can see there is a copper mesh and there is a outer uh, plastic uh, <coughs> Uh, jacket like this. Okay, jack. This is a copper mesh. Copper mesh for protecting the main signal. Um, EMI. main signal from EMI. What is EMI? Electro magnetic conduction. Okay, so better uh, check. 
interference electromagnetic interference what is electromagnetic interference so you are getting mobile signal right so you are getting a mobile signal because of electromagnetic interference only because this antenna is radiating electromagnetic signals your wi-fi works based on electromagnetic interference only okay so your mobile phone is getting a signal so it will absorb this signal and then only we are even a wi-fi so wi-fi router or access point and your mobile phone or a laptop so that will be take this in okay so in our uh, surrounding there is a lot of electromagnetic waves whenever it touches this main uh, copper wire so our signal will get a disturb so this emi causes emi causes cross talk This is a cross star. A mixture of a mixture of signals. Okay. So this is a, a, our a small things about a coaxial cable. Next one is twisted pair cable. Yeah. Take small, small parts and then we'll need limit. <laughs> okay. So it is a twisted pair cable. So what is twisted pair cable? Can you see these are the different wires? Okay. There is a wires in this cable. Okay. Totally eight wires in a general in general twisted pair cable comes with the eight wires inside. Okay, so these eight wires in the eight wires two, two, two wires means pair of the wires are twist each other. That's why it is called as a twist pair cable. Okay, pair of wires twist each other. In twisted pair cable again two types unshielded twisted pair cable and shielded twisted pair cable okay so this is a shielded means there is a shielding on this pair of wires on the pair of wires what is the use of shielding electromagnetic interference okay protect from electromagnetic interference okay so why twist guys there is a transmission line theory is there so if you have a, uh, gone through any electrical and electronics engineering electrical and communication engineering or uh, any electrical related you have studied in your subject there is a transmission line subject okay so we don't go to that part but simple thing is there is a word called attenuation it opposes the flow of signal so like a resistance type only but not 100% resistance is there and attenuation. So the signal will be weak after certain length of the transmission line. Okay. So this twist number of twist increases, number of twist increases, this attenuation decreases. The speed of data transmission increases. So why we need a twist to increase the speed of data transmission? and why we need a shielding to protect from electromagnetic interference okay so this is the, our standard lan cables guys which we are using in our regular lan communication in our regular lan communication we are using twisted pair cables utp or stp how to connect Guys, understand up to here twisted pair cables. So what is mean by attenuation, sir? Attenuation it is uh, um, decrease the strength of the signal. 
attenuation increases means the strength of signal decreases. Okay, sir. Okay. Speed, everything will be reduced and it will change your shape also. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. So to connect this cable, we have a cable uh, with uh, eight wires inside. It is called a four pair cable to connect to connect this cable. So we need this kind of RJ45 sockets. You can see these small, small things. It is RJ45 sockets. RJ45 connectors. Plugs, exactly say plugs. OK. These plugs, you can see these are the plugs. They insert wires into the side and it is, they use a crimping tool to fix it. Okay, they press with a crimping tool. Like it will show in a, a divide. You can also put it in a, a Google that's this RJ45 kind of stuff. OK. So. And this is our RJ45 socket. This is a motherboard socket it is and already I showed earlier a wide type of connectivity. So it is an IC uh, Ethernet. This is Ethernet. This is onboard Ethernet. This is a Ethernet adapter. This is onboard Ethernet uh, uh, connector RJ45 connector for laptops. This is a how connectors look like. Okay. This is our RJ45. Okay. So this is socket. This is a plug. So this is how we can able to connect it. RJ means registered jack. Guys, this is a eight wires are there. So pair of cable dot twist each other. So then uh, uh, we call it as a four pair cable. Each wires are color coded in a pair wise. It is pairing like this. There is orange wire, green wire, blue wire and brown wire. And it is paired with a white orange wire, white green wire, white blue and white brown. That's it is right like a orange, white orange, green, white green, blue, white blue, brown, white brown wires. Okay, in this one, it's a pair of wires. So we have a cable that the cables are are uh, made into the different category. Okay, the cables we have a uh, with the different categories. Category 1, Category 2, Category 3, Category 4, Category 5, 5E, 6, 6E, 7, like that it is there. But uh, as current thing, so we are all using a CAT6 cable because it support up to 1 Gbps of data transmission. Okay. CAT5, it is 100 Mbps data transmission. So last class I told about Ethernet, Ethernet, 10 Mbps, fast Ethernet, 100 Mbps of connectivity, and gigabit Ethernet, 1 Gbps of connectivity. It means your desktop or laptop or your mobile phone, oh, sorry, not mobile, your server kind of stuff, or uh, 1 Gbps type of fast gigabit Ethernet, you must use CAT6 cable. You are using fast Ethernet and you use a CAT6 cable, 100 Mbps only you will get it. Okay. So generally we are using currently CAT6. There is a CAT1 that is a telephone type of wires, telephone wires. Okay, can you see this is telephone wires, RJ11 telephone wires. Okay. So if you have a telephone uh, connectivity, if you have seen any time the telephone kind of stuff, you can see this is RJ45. Okay. 
the connector is RJ44, RJ11. Okay. The connector, what we say, is RJ11. It's a two-pair cable. It support up to one Mbps data transmission. CAT2 4 Mbps. CAT3 10 Mbps. CAT4 16 Mbps. If you search in a Google, guys, it may show differently. It may show. Yeah, just guys, two minutes. Okay. Guys, audible? Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. So these are the our standard cable guys, either CAT6 or CAT5 or CAT5E. So these are the cable, how it is look like, and at both ends it is with the RJ45 connector. Okay, so this is also called as a LAN cable or a patch cable. So you working in organization and see, so someone ask, uh, give me a patch cable, then don't see somewhere. Okay, patch cable, LAN cable, all these things are the same. Okay, these are the tools. This is testing tool. You take this cable and uh, one side of the cable go to uh, one part of this tester, another part of other side of cable go to another part of the tester. Okay, so it is used to test the cable wiring is correct or not. Okay, so we are crimped this cable. So we create a cable. Okay, but inside a, a wiring somewhere it is damage is occur. Or maybe improper uh, manufacturing things are there. So network is not connected. What you will do? So you want to test the cable, then this is the cable tester. So this is. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8. It shows like that. It means it is a good cable. It depends upon type of cable, guys. In that one also, three types are there. So then it's straight cable, crossover cable, rollover cable kind of stuff. But it is this part. This is called a crimping tool. So cable wiring is like this. Or RJ45 connectors or plugs are like this. How to connect uh, this, these two things? We need a, a tool that is called a crimping tool. So they will insert these wires inside this one and press hardly, then wire will be created. So otherwise, go to YouTube and uh, try like this uh, RJ45, sorry, um, UTP cable uh, 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 crimping. Okay, so then you will see the how they will uh, do it. Okay, small videos only. Okay. So this is about your LAN cables. Small point about a LAN cable, one more point is there, guys. What is the use of this cable? What is the use of this LAN cable or a patch cable? To connect a devices, right? I have a computer or a laptop. I want to connect it to a switch. Maybe I have a two switches. I want to connect these two switches together. I have a two computers. I want to connect two computers directly, like a point to point wise. Right? Like this, I have a two computers. I want to connect from this uh, RJ45 to this RJ45 directly. Or uh, I have a uh, switch i want to connect from here to here pc to switch maybe i have another switch i have another switch i want to connect one switch to another switch okay so the cables depend what is the use of cables for transmitting data right 
transmitting data and receiving data. Okay, so I'm not going. I'm not going to uh, much details. Otherwise, we should go to details or not. Not required to go. We have eight pins, right? So pin one, pin two, pin three, pin four, pin five, pin six, pin seven. That's why you should not go that. <laughs> Okay, later we will see that one. The first one indicate. Oh, no, 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 guys. It's, it's, it can. No, 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 so don't worry about it. I will tell normally. Okay. So when you are communicating, same type of PCs, you have to use different type of cables. So not, not for uh, not, same cable for not for every type of connectivity, every type of connectivity. So PC to PC, you are connecting directly. It means you have to use a cross or cable. OK, you are connecting from PC to search. It is different devices. It means you can use a straight cable. You are connecting. A switch to search. You can use. Again, cross cable. So what is this meaning is you take pin numbers of this wiring. OK, so this is a connector, right? And these are the wires. So one side of wire, it's a one side of connector. This is one side of connector and this is on cable other side of the connector. So this is transmission plus. The second pin is called a transmission minus. The third pin is receiving plus. Four and five are uh, for a power supply kind of stuff. Again, sixth pin is receive minus. So you want to create this straight cable. So for a first pin, what are the on second side? What are the color you put it in the first pin? Same color you have to put it. Same color you have to put it. Seven, eight, eight pins are there. Same colors you have to put it. For example, you put an orange here, put orange. You put a white orange here, put a white orange here. Put a green color here, so put a green color here. You put a blue color here, blue. White blue, white blue. White green, green. Okay, brown, white brown, brown, white. It is a stride through cable. Means first pin, what color you given? Same color you have put it like this. You want to create this type of cable, crossover cable. Means for a first pin, one side, other side, A side, B side. So I said A side, B side of the cable. This is easy. Because pins and uh, sides will be confusion. OK. A side of cable, first pin, third, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, this is transmission plus. OK. So what are the color you given? For example, orange you are given. It go to the third pin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just for uh, normal, I'm telling guys. So first color is so where is the receive plus? So I'm giving transmission plus to receive plus. So here I give an orange color here. Okay, this is a transmission minus. For example, I given a white orange. So then I will give for a receive minus. White orange. Third pin is receive plus. For example, I put a green color, then I will green color here because it is a transmission plus. This is transmission minus. 
So the sixth is transmission minus, for example, here it is, I given white green, then I will give white green here. Okay, this is for example, blue, white, blue, same blue and white blue will occur. It won't change this, it's a strike and uh, activity. White, brown, brown, okay, brown, white, brown. So what color I use? Same color, sorry. No change in four, five, and seven, eight. One, two, three, six. Here it will be changes. So you can use a formula. The first pin, what color I use here? Same color I use it for third pin. Second pin, what color I use? Same color goes for a sixth. So one, three, two, six. Okay. So in a reverse order also same. First color, whatever I use here, same go for a third. Second pin, what color I use, same go for a sixth pin. Okay. If it is confuses, no problem. But try to understand the coloring, guys. This is how the color uh, it is there like this. Stripe means same. Cross means this change. When you connect a different type of devices, PC to switches or hubs or hub to routers, switch to routers, then we use stride cables. Connect similar devices like PC to PC, switch to switch, hub to hub. Okay, so we use a cross cable. Rollover cable. So what is a, a rollover cable kind of stuff? Okay, so here it is. I have a switch or a router. It's a manageable routers. Manageable switches are there. Cisco routers. Cisco switches are there. I try to open something. Maybe it will work or not. Okay, it's uh, I clicked in it. So we'll see. So I have a router. I have to configure this router. To configure the router, there is a console cable. You have a computer, you have to configure your computer, for example. So you, you have a monitor, right? So you have a monitor. So you have a keyboard, you have a mouse, and you will connect it. But router don't have any monitor, keyboard, mouse interface, right? So we have to connect from any computer. This is my computer and this is a router. I have to connect from this console cable. Console port, it is also RJ45, but it's a console for configuring. Console is also called as terminals. Monitor, terminals, console, these are all for a interface to see what is there inside a device. Okay, so I am connecting from here to here this cable we have to use rollover cable this side it is rj45 type of connectivity this side it is rs232 it means serial port serial port okay serial port rs232 com port COM port means communication port. COM port means communication port. One name is enough. Okay, so these are the stride cable, crossover cable, rollover cable. Rollover cable, we don't use it for a communication purpose not for a sending packets are received it is for configuration of manageable routers and switches most like a cisco router cisco switches dealing router switches like a zuniper routers these are a kind of stuff is there so for them yeah my packet address is not open it's okay leave it Guys, understand cable, uh, up to here cabling. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The last cable is fiber optical cable or an optical fiber cable. We can further pull down and it will be neat. Okay, good. So, what is optical? What is optical fiber? Okay, optical fiber cable or fiber optical cables. Why it is called as like this? One is so made up of glass. It is made up of glass. Glass is a cheaper material. Okay. So gas is actually made up of limestone means almost like it is a kind of sand only. So you burn the sand at a certain degrees, then it is become a glass. Okay, even glass can be manufactured from glass. So glass thing is actually better compared to uh, any other uh, form. Okay, glass materials, uh, you know, pingani kind of stuff. So much better than any other so because it's easily uh, form another uh, thing. OK, it's a made up of glass. Next one is it is made up of glass means it's not a metal. OK, important is it's not a metal, not like your copper, iron, aluminium kind of stuff it is. So it is it's a uh, uh, that's why it is very simple material it is and um, <clears throat> It's non metal, so non metal, so it's not absorbing any electromagnetic interference. No electromagnetic interference means no cross time. Okay, no attenuation also. So, attenuation is there, but in a different form, but not as electrical uh, transmission line kind of attenuation is not there. Main signal is light waves. In our coaxial cables and twisted pair cables, okay, the main signal is electrical signal. And coaxial cable and twisted pair cables are made up of copper. Okay, and it is the signal is electrical signal, but in a fiber optic cable, the signal is light wave. It's much faster than any other platform. Okay. So we used for it is a very long distance communication. You can see there is a, a, a the tiny, very tiny uh, a wire it is that is a called a core cable. It is covered with a clad cable. Both core and clad made up of glasses only. And it is uh, outer, there is a strength in cable, outer jacket kind of stuff is there. Okay. Very high speed data transmission. We can do it very long distance communication. We are getting. If you take twisted pair cable, it is only 100 meters is limited. Just 100 meters, not even a kilometer. 100 meters. So 10, 1 by 10th of a 1 kilometer it is. Maximum support is 100 meters. A limited speed capacity, 1 Gbps, 2 Gbps like that in general. And cost is higher when you are going for a very long distance communication. Not used for liberal land communication. We don't use it for our land communication guys. Land communication. We are using twisted pair cable UTP or STP type. In twisted pair we have a UTP STP either use UTP or STP mostly UTP. Mostly we are using UTP unshielded twisted pair cable in a or regular LAN communication. But where we are using this fiber optical cables? In a small size network servers, okay, server to server communications, okay, higher speed data transmission required in a server rooms. Storage, like a SAN type of storages, we use fiber optical. 
core routing places, high where uh, like ISP routers, there they use fiber optical cables. It is a cheaper as well as a costly point. Is there? We are all getting internet through fiber optical cables. This is a link to see uh, and under versions. We are all connected. A lot of people believe we are getting internet from satellites. No, OK, we are not getting internet from satellites. OK, we are getting internet from underground cables, under washing cables, fiber optical cables. OK, see this, this is uh, South Africa. South America, America, Canada. You can see this is Russia. So Russia has big lobe, you can see because these are completely snow, so they are dry into that versions. OK, where is India? India. OK. See, so which countries having a sure connectivity? So obviously they have a fiber optical in and out connectivity. See, see? so Mumbai. These are from different countries. It is showing from different countries, different gateways are connected to Mumbai. And this is uh, Vishakapatnam. One cable is draw from here to here to Vishakapatnam. And this is Chennai. And the down the line, you can see different cable things. Tivendram, Cochin, like this. Each color indicates uh, the line from one place to another place and type of line it is. So Bangladesh, Myanmar kind of stuff. Andaman, Nicobar, Malaysia. So they have a highway connectivity. Okay, Philippines. So many junctions are there. Pakistan, Afghanistan. Afghanistan don't have a short connect. They have to go with the from this land to like this. Or from through Iran, like that they have to get it. Okay, so Reliance is one of the major company won share in the one of the higher sharing in for reliance in fiber optical cable not now guys 20 years back okay so around 20 years back only they have a fiber optical cable uh, warning is there both uh, on land and as well as a wash wash you can see fiber optical cable under washings. So like this, they will put a cables. You know, this kind of Bombay oil extractors also used to uh, maintain these cables. <coughs> okay. So people has to go and check it by going inside to wash. Dives are there, deep dives. Next, uh, I said it is costly as well as it's cheaper. The cable, you know, one day I went to a shop, the cash shop, uh, one person is recently learned about fiber opticals and he's giving a suggestion to me. So you buy you or want to buy a patch cable like this. So better to buy a fiber optical cable because it is a cheaper. Of course, it's made up of glass, it is a cheaper. The cable, I don't know, but can you see that remaining equipment? To connect. Uh, UTP, STP cable, we need this kind of connectivity. In your laptop and uh, in a desktop also, we have a built-in uh, uh, RJ45 connector is there. We can simply connect it. Onboard uh, adapter is there. Otherwise, we can have to, we have to attach this type of uh, Ethernets uh, to our servers or uh, desktops. OK, but for connecting fiber optical cables, again, that is a different NIC like this. This type of NICs we don't have uh, on our uh, laptops. 
uh, even a death star. You have to buy this one separately. Okay, and we need to know how the to connect the cables and different type of connectivity is there. Okay, different type of connectors are there. This is a patch cable. You can see different type of connectors. Not one type, so it's different type of connectors. Plus, so we need an equipment to test this a proper connected or not. So there's a testing machine is there. Okay. And we need to get a special training for that one. Not much easy. Okay. Next, we don't know not yet, uh, that much knowledge in uh, personally. Maybe some people. Will. And we need a specially that, that switches. Normal uh, switches are very cheap. Hub and switches are normally very less cost. But this is a okay. So it's a overall cost is become a, uh, that much. Uh, you know, geo fiber. The internet connectivity, so in a geo fiber, they have a backside a, a fiber optical wire is there. It's not showing properly, but so this is a geo modem they are giving. In a backside of this one, so you can see uh, they will connect a fiber optical cable to the. Uh, um, Upper like this. This is this uh, where it is inside. It will connect. Even for a uh, two three times, they have to come and uh, 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 repair it. Okay, because that's the problem. So fiber optical connectivity from here to one junction box, one small box. From there to the top box, it is there. Okay, fiber optical cable. For external purpose only, not for internal. Internally, we need a Wi-Fi kind of connectivity or a LAN type of connectivity. So not uh, we don't use a regular system or regular networks, fiber optical cables. Yes, this is about a cables. Got it? Sir. Yes, sir. Just I will give small introduction to networking devices, then I will explain one by one device, guys, after the small break. So we have a hubs, repeaters, switches, modems. Uh, firewalls, okay. So different type of networking devices. Out of that one, we are discussing about uh, four major things: hub, switch, router, and modem. And small thing about a uh, repeat also. Hub used for LAN communication. Okay. Hub used for a LAN communication. Switch is also used for a LAN. Communication, but hub used for a small networks, such as used for a small and large networks. Switch know how to learn MAC address of a connected devices and create a MAC address table. Hub don't know anything. It broadcasts the packets to everyone in the network. Okay. Even not. Router. Router is used for both LAN communication and LAN communication. A router is an inter networking device. A router shows best path to reach the destination. You want to reach, like, a, I want to go to google.com, facebook.com, different network, I want to reach it. A router will, will tell you how to reach the destination. Another one is modem. Modem connects to internet. So you are connected to, you are able to also. Okay. 
modem connections to internet isp okay from your uh, home or office to internet service provider you have to connect it either through telephone cable or fiber optical cables we have to connect it through modem only and last class yesterday last class i told your wifi router is act like a modem to connect internet from your um, home to outside of the net so as you are shown no so this one side we are connecting to um, uh, isp wan connectivity it means there is a built in modem inside and it is a route between outside network to inside network and connecting in local networks also that is your router okay hub and switches you have uh, want to connect with uh, any pc or a laptop with a wide connectivity we have a lan ports on our wifi router okay that's the point and there is a repeater guys repeater means it repeats the signal to communicate for a longer distances normal utp stp cable support up to 100 meters but you have to connect more than 100 meters in between so we are using a repeaters each one i will explain means hub repeaters such as routers and modem kind of stuff after the smart pay okay let's take a break 10 minutes max 15 minutes okay so i will explain the devices one by one 